Happy Tuesday, guys. So this is a two minute requested by a student to help them understand the different types of cannula connectors. This is something we have to study for the national board. There are three types. We have the slip type, the threaded, and the lure lock. So let's look at the difference. I have all of them sitting here. I'm gonna kind of show you how they work. So this is what's called lure lock. The dye stains sometimes. This is a large, a large cannula. Um, pulled this out of the old storage just to kind of give you guys an idea. So this clicks in to the end connector on the embalming machine. There is a release button then, but it creates a vacuum seal when you place it in. Number two is a slip type. This is a nasal aspirator. It's the only one, usually you don't find all three of these styles in the preparation room. So this, as you can see, it just slips into the tubing. The problem with these is they can slip out. So what some people use is a uh, cannula would go on this. This is kind of an in-betweener, but ones with stopcocks on them, uh, you can tie them down a little bit nicer to connect them to the tubing. There's a lot of built-up pressure. We don't want these shooting out. And then the third style is a threaded. You can see there's threading. It will spin onto a connector on here, if that's your style, just like a regular old screw. It'll have a uh, corked piece there, like a bushing to help um, from any leaking. They come in all different sizes. Cannulas are straight or curved. Those are the three connectors. We've got lure lock, slip type, and threaded.